Okay, so come to the next theorem. Theorem 8.4. In a parallelogram, opposite angles are equal. So you can prove this theorem in various ways. But <coughs> if uh, the opposite sides of a parallelogram are, uh, are equal, it is not given. Okay, then you have to prove uh, this. But actually in a theorem 8.2, you already all of you prove that in a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal. So you can use that uh, opposite sides are equal in uh, to prove this theorem but without using that two sides opposite two sides are equal you can also prove that uh, in a parallelogram opposite angles are equal okay so let us suppose let us take one parallelogram ABCD ABCD where AC and BD let uh, let us will take BD as a diagonal so uh, let ABCD B A let A B C D be a parallelogram where A C is a diagonal. Okay. So in case of a parallelogram, already all of you know that in case of a parallelogram, opposite sides are parallel. Okay, so in this case, proof here AB parallel CD, AC is the transversal, AC is the transversal. Okay, so this one parallel, this one, this one is the transversal, then this angle will be equal to this angle alternate interior angle so therefore angle BAC is equal to angle DCA DCA which is alternate interior angles if mark 1 ok similarly again BC parallel DA same AC is 10 percent AC is the transversal transversal okay so then see uh, this line parallel this line this is angle so therefore this angle will be equal to this angle so therefore angle B you can write uh, DAC because you write BAC here so D A C D A C is equal to B C A again alternate interior angles number two okay so now we'll just add one and two now adding one and two we get one and two we get BAC, we have said BAC and this one is DAC, BAC plus DAC which is equal to DCA plus DCA, okay? So, BAC plus DAC, BAC plus DAC which will be angle A, that means BAD. B A D again B C A and B C A will be what angle B C D that means angle A is equal to angle C opposite angles are equal so similarly you can prove angle B equal to angle D by drawing a uh, diagonal B D and using the same property uh, alternate interior angle so similarly similarly we can we can prove we can show that we can show that angle B equal to angle D. That means in case of a parallelogram, opposite angles are equal. Okay, suppose again another method. Suppose you uh, use that the opposite sides are equal in case of a parallelogram. Then AB equal to then in this this triangle AB equal to CD. Okay, 
again both are parallel so therefore this angle and this angle equal or the internal angle and AC equal to CA common sides like the previous theorem and these two triangles are congruent triangles so congruent triangles mean that the opposite angles are equal that means angle B equal to angle D okay again uh, by drawing another diagonal BD you can prove the angle A equal to angle so in both way you can solve this one